Okay. So, before we do that, let me just uh, talk about the angular momentum or moment of momentum about a stationary point. Moment of momentum or angular momentum. about a stationary point O for a system of particles is defined as H naught equal to sigma cross m i v i. Where? So, if I have y axis and I have a particle, I may have a bunch of particles for this ith particle So, this is a fixed in a it is an inertial reference frame x y is an inertial reference frame r is the position vector of the ith particle in this reference frame and this particle i has some velocity v i. So, its momentum is m i v i. Okay. Then where v i is the velocity measured in the inertial reference frame. XYZ. Now, if I take the derivative of this angular momentum d H naught by d t equal to product rule. So, this is over all the particles i equal to 1 to n. Okay. So, I can say first sigma d r i by d t cross m i v i plus now. So, I differentiate the first term And the second one r i cross m i does not change with time and I get d v i by d t is a i d v i by d t. So, this is just sigma. Now, this is nothing but v i. So, I have v i cross m i v i plus sigma of r i cross m i a i. Now, this cross product, this is 0 v i parallel to m i v i. So, this cross product is 0 and this 
is essentially the resultant of the net force on particle i m i a i the acceleration of particle i m i m i times the acceleration of particle i is the result of the net force on r i cross f i. So, this is f i is the net force on particle i and this therefore, I can write as r i cross f i is a sigma of that is nothing but the sum of the moments about point O. So, this is the resultant moment about the same point about which I am computing the angular momentum of the net force on particle i and any force couples, because if I have two forces that cancel each other out, but which create a couple, I would have to add those as well. So, this is the principle of angular momentum about a fixed point, it says d h naught. So, it is important that you keep this in mind, this is about the fixed point sigma m naught equals d h naught by d t for the angular momentum about a fixed point. Now, let us look at the angular momentum principle about a point that is other than a fixed point, okay, some arbitrary point. Okay. So, about an arbitrary point B whose velocity with respect to an inertial reference frame is V B. And let us say let L denote the linear momentum of the system of particles. So, L equals sigma m i v i and h b then the angular momentum about point b I define it as i equal to 1 to n r of i relative to b cross m i v i. Okay. It is still m i v i here, it is not the relative, I am looking you know I am looking at the moment of the momentum of the particles, but about a point b. So, only this vector is the relative vector. Okay. So, if I look at v i is the absolute velocity about v i is the velocity in the inertial reference frame, yes. 
it is not about you know relative to b okay need to be clear about that so if i have i and i have a point b okay so this is o this is r of i relative to o this is r of b relative to o okay and this vector here is r of i relative to b. So, I am trying to find the angular momentum about point b and this has momentum m i b i the point b the i th point. Yes. When i goes from 1 to n is b included in that or is it apart from the collection of particles? b is not a particle, b is an arbitrary point in the plane, b is not a particle ok. b is not in, so the n particles do not, so b could coincide with some other particle, but it is just a point in the plane. So, I can write r of i relative to o as r of b relative to o plus r of i relative to b. Okay. You can see from the vector addition here that this is a valid. Uh, so, I know that I know h naught, okay. h naught is defined as sigma i equal to 1 to n r of i relative to o cos m i uh, sorry cross m i b i. So, in this I can substitute I can say this is for r i o I can write it as r i b plus r b o cross m i v i. So, what is the first term r b o is a constant right. So, it is can come outside the summation cross sigma i equal to 1 to n m i v i plus sigma i equal to 1 to n r i b cross m i b i. So, this is equal to the angular moment uh, sorry the linear momentum r b o cross the linear momentum of the body sigma m i b i plus this is h b angular momentum about point b. Okay, so, this is the first. So, now let us differentiate this equation okay. r b relative to o cross l plus h b. If I differentiate this with respect to time, I have d h naught by d t equal to r of this does not change right. So, I have r b naught cross d l by d t plus
d by sorry d r I, I am changing uh, I am saying point b has a velocity it is not a fixed point this time. So, this cross l plus d h b by d t that was the whole point of this exercise it is an arbitrary point which has a velocity in that uh, inertial frame. Okay. So, this is one equation, then yeah. if I look at m naught and do the same thing r i cross f i, right. So, this is equal to sigma i equal to 1 to n r i naught is r b plus r of i relative to b cross f of i. r b naught cross f i plus cross f i. What is this term? This is the net torque external torque about point P. Sorry? sigma f i. So, sigma f i. I, I used f as the net external force, no resultant force. Yeah, okay. So, sigma f i let us let me call it just f. So, m naught equals r b naught cross f sum of plus m b. I know that m naught equals d h naught by d t we already showed that. So, therefore, d h naught by d t equals r cross f plus m b. Now, I substitute this 2 into 1. If I substitute equation 2 into equation 1, I get d h b by d t plus r b o cross f plus b b o cross l equals r b o cross f plus m b. So, this goes, this goes. Therefore, I have m b equals d h b by d t plus v b relative to O cross L. This is the angular momentum principle about a point that is a general point B. Okay. Couple of special cases, case 1, where 
velocity of b relative to o is 0, it is a fixed point, then it reduces to this is a fixed point, this part becomes 0, it reduces to m b equal to d h b by d t, which is what we showed earlier. Case 2, suppose b is the center of mass of the body. what happens to V B O cross L? What is L? L here equals sigma i equal to 1 to n m i V i. This is equal to sigma m i times V B O, if B is the center of mass. Therefore, this now becomes V B O cross sigma m i V B O again equal to 0. If the velocity of this point B is parallel to the this momentum, the linear momentum again it will be 0, but you are more likely to encounter these two cases. Okay. The mathematical relationship will hold whenever V B O uh, whenever V B O is parallel to L, okay, V B O cross L will be 0. Okay. So, for all those cases M B will be equal to D H B by D T. The special cases, the cases that we are more likely to encounter involve the case where B is a fixed point or B is the center of mass. Then again you have m b equal to d h b by d t, but this is something that is important to remember because in a lot of cases you tend to apply this equation m equal to d h by d t, you will apply it to arbitrary points whose velocity may not be 0 or whose velocity uh, who or points which may not be the center of mass of the body. It is a common mistake that people make and that is the reason I went through this derivation. Okay. So, um, the thing that sticks from the undergrad uh, angular momentum principle is m equal to d h by d t. Okay, you do not really care about, you, you know it works for a fixed point, you know it works for the <coughs> center of mass, but it does not work for an arbitrary point, because there is this additional term. Okay. So, that is important to remember and because we will encounter this, I wanted to uh, do this derivation. So, we will next class, we will take up the case of this person doing these arm lifts with the dumbbell, the case of angular motion and we will proceed with that.